right? You're you gonna say, sir, click the big A, the drop down, or sir, click the, the blank page beside the big A. Do that. You know, you're gonna say, sir, um, sir, say for example, you wish to set up, say for example, you wish to set up um, your unit. The first thing to do would be to set up the unit. So you would say, sir, type UN. It's a sir, type UN. Click enter, sir. Click enter, sir. I click enter. I want to say, sir, click left click on precision. Change the to zero. Click on the millimeter. Click on, click on the insertion scale, sir. Select X, Y, Z, right? All right. That is basically how I want you to do it. Next, I want to say, sir, no, so, so assume that you set up your unit, right? Now you wish to set up your, set up your, uh, your units, your limit. You're gonna say, sir, type L-I-M, L-I-M, press enter, sir, sir, press enter. You're gonna say, sir, type zero comma zero, zero comma zero. Press enter, sir. So I want to hear you to tell me how to start and end. You're gonna say, sir, type upper limit is, if you want to use the upper limit of say 100, say, sir, type 100, zero, zero. press stop key, sir, sir, press stop key. Type 100, sir, then press enter. Yeah, so I want clear defined instruction at the beginning and also at the end. Right, next step, you're gonna say, sir, type Z, then press enter key, sir. Press A, sir, then enter, right? That's that for that. Uh, say, for example, you wish to set up your, your, um, your layers. You're gonna say, sir, left click on layer properties, sir, left click, right? You're gonna say, um, sir, um, left click on the, the icon with the, with, with the red star, sir, left click on that. You're gonna say, sir, um, backspace or delete that, sir. Then type whatever you want this layer to be. Type, um, type array, sir, R A building. You're gonna say, sir, left click on color. So left click on color. You're gonna say, sir, left click on the color of your choice. In this case, I choose color 30. Click OK, sir. You're gonna say, sir, sir, go across the line type, left click continuous. Then, sir, click load or click on the one that you want. You're gonna say, sir, left click, click OK, sir. So you must tell me every single step of the way, all right? So that would be that for that, all right? No. I'm gonna insert a drawing in this, and I'm gonna demonstrate to you also exactly how I expect you to respond to this question. You're gonna say, sir, well, let me insert a drawing first, Control V. So this is the drawing that we'll be, uh, we'll be producing, all right? Um, sir, the first thing for this drawing, we have a, have a, um, a mechanical component here, which has two circles, uh, uh, the centers are placed at 100 millimeters apart. We have a hexagon here, a square on this side, a uh, circle to the right, which is 30 millimeters, and a circle to the left, on the left-hand side, which is 25 millimeters. There is a internal curve here of radius 60, which is on both sides, yeah? So the first thing to do here would be to establish your center line. So the first thing you're gonna say, sir, left click, on the layer, choose center line, sir. Left click on center line, sir does that, right? You're gonna say, sir, um, left click, well, click type line, type L, then enter, sir. Sir, I realize right here is where most persons or 95% of you fall down. When you say specify the first point, you're gonna say to sir, sir, left click where you want to start left for the first point, left click, sir. Sir, move, move the, oh, first, before I do that, I need to change my construction layer. So you're gonna say, uh, Mr. Fraser, left click 
on the layer property, click on center line, left click on center yeah. line. Yes. Then you're going to say, sir, left click, well, type L, press enter, sir. Specify the start point, sir, by left clicking where you want to start the line. Or you're going to say, sir, engage orthogonal mode, left click on orthogonal mode to get the line horizontal and vertical. All right, so, so left click. You're going to say, sir, move your cross here to the right. Type in 100, sir, 100. Zero, zero. Press enter key, sir. Press enter one more time, sir, to end the command. Yeah, so that's basically who I want you to, to, um, to, to dictate what I'm supposed to do. You're going to say, sir, type C for center, C, then enter. You're going to say, sir, left click at the left end of the line. Yeah, yeah, you're going to say, sir, yes. Type in, type 25, press enter, sir, enter. You're going to say, go across, you're going to say, sir, hit space bar to reactivate command. I did. Left click at the right side of the line, sir. Sir, left click. Type in a radius of 30, sir. Type three, zero. Press the enter key now, sir. Good. You're going to say, okay, sir, you want a hexagon or you want to draw the arc here, whichever you want to do. You're going to say, um, sir, type C for circle. Press enter, sir. Sir, press enter. You're going to say, sir, choose Tantan radius. I click TTR, type TTR, press enter, sir, enter. You're going to say, sir, go across the left circle, left click on the circumference. Go across to the right circle, sir, left click on the circumference. Sir, move the cross here over to the middle. Type six, type six, zero, press enter, sir. Sir, press enter. Okay, good job, sir. No, sir, trim it off. Type TR, press the enter key two times, sir. Bam, bam, sir, press. Left click on the outside part of the line, line sir. Good job. Press escape now, sir, to clear the command. Sir, press that. Now, sir, do the same thing that you did a while ago, or mirror that, sir. Sir, I wish to mirror this line. Type MI, sir, MI. Press enter key now, sir. Sir, select the line you want to mirror. Left click on the line you want to mirror, sir. Sir, left click. Press enter key now, sir, to activate, to engage that, that, that command. Enter. Sir, the command bar says so you need to specify the first mirror point, sir. Left click one end of the, of the center line. Go to the next end and left click at the center, sir. Type enter key now, sir, to, to accept that. Okay, sir. Good job, sir. Sir, I want to draw my hexagon. Go to polygon. Type polygon. P-O-L. Press enter key now, sir. Type six. Press enter now, sir. He says I'm to specify the center, sir. Left click at the middle of the left circle. Left click. Select enter to accept, sir. Rotate it around, sir. Type in the radius of, type in 25 for the radius, sir. The command bar said we must specify the radius. Sir, type 25, 25. Press enter key now, sir. Sir, press enter key. Uh, that seems too big. Radius 25. Um, oh, oh, the wrong, thing, wrong measurement I use. Delete. All right, press poly, type polygon, P-O-L, press enter key now, sir. Enter six for the number of side and press enter, sir. Left click on the center, left center. Click enter to accept inscribed circle, sir. Now let the radius be 12, sir. Or 14, one type one four then press enter, sir, good. No, go across to the other side, sir. Type its space bar for polygon. We want a square this time, sir. So you're going to type four for the number of sides. Type four, then enter. Sir, select the, 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 the right center of this of the circle to the right. Left click on it, sir. Inscribe, sir. 
No, rotate. All right. So this one, the side, or the side should be the side should be twenty-eight. So I we'll need to redo that. So number of sides four. Enter. We're gonna type type E R click edge, sir. All right. So let me do this. Let me do some. All right. Space bar to reactivate that. Four. Enter. Center. Type 14, one, four, enter. All right, so there we have it now, sir. So that's pretty much how I would like you to dictate when you're doing your assessment.